Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, I'm going to do another haul today, but this one has a bit of a twist to it. So because we're in isolation, I thought, what other way could I do a haul than just ordering online? Not gonna lie, I have ordered some online, but I thought try something a little bit different today. So today I'm gonna to be taking five items out of my wardrobe that I have never ever worn before. So it'll be quite interesting to see, one, why I haven't worn them, and two, how I can style it to make it me want to wear it, if that makes sense. So I'll go through the items to start with, tell you where they're from, what size they are, um, why I don't like them or why I've not worn them, and then I'll tell you hopefully what I'm gonna be able to do with them. So yeah, let's get started. So the first item that I'm going to try and um, wear or dress up today is this dress. So it is a kind of in between a skater dress and a shift dress. Um, it's from Primark. It has lots of different animal print on it. I bought this, where, where did we go? I was with my boyfriend somewhere and went into Primark as I always do, bought it, it's in a size 18, um, they didn't have any 20s so, but I think it actually fits me okay. It's got slightly puffy sleeves with an elasticated waist and this is something that I would probably wear to work. So I'd always wear this with a cardigan, tights and probably flats, I don't wear heels to work or if I do wear heels it'll be like a, like a winter boot sort of thing. So yeah, I do really like this dress. I bought this just before lockdown, so that is why I've not worn it, because it is something that I probably wear quite a lot. So I thought I'd, I'd try it on, see how I feel, and show you guys. Okay, so this is the first dress. As you can see, it's plenty big enough. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is actually it's a v-neck. I'm not a big fan of v-necks, um, so I always wear a vest on the things, so at least I can hide it that way. Um, to work, I'll always wear tights and a dress more than anything. Always wear two pairs of tights, don't know why, I think I just prefer the opacity and I can never find tights that are dark enough, that are comfy enough and stretchy enough and come up all the way up here. So two pairs of tights it is. <laughs> My normal tights actually are from Snag Tights. Um, I've only ever bought three or four pairs from there, but they are absolutely brilliant. They are so comfortable. So good tip for anyone plus size who finds other tights really uncomfortable. But yeah, this is the dress. I've got it on with little, I can't know whether you can see that. Uh, they are like loafers um, and they're a patent one. I'll either wear those sort of things, like I said, a winter boot or like a dolly ballet flat sort of thing. And I'll normally throw on some sort of chunky knit cardigan, whether or not it's a thin or a thick one. This one is one of my favorite thick ones. I think this is from Primark. Yep, Primark size 16 from years ago. Um, as you can see, it's massive and does everything you need it to do. So yeah, that's my first outfit. It's really comfy, this dress. It's quite thin. Um, I think you could wear it in, in the summer without tights. It's long enough, it's definitely long enough. It literally just stops just below, just above my knee. Um, so yeah, definitely a work outfit. It would be a Saturday outfit, running to the shops. I'll probably keep it on for the rest of the day. Um, or you could even, you probably could dress it up, maybe with a leather jacket, some fancy jewelry and some heels. But definitely for me, it would be, just go to work, go to the shops, and that's it. My next item is going to be, I'll go for this one, this. Now, I don't know why I bought this. Um, firstly, it's a crop top, as you can see. I don't really like crop tops. Um, I never have my midriff out, obviously. So the only time I ever wear this would be with something high-waisted. Um, it's got a little tie on it. So it can be undone, although it looks obviously weird if you have it undone. And it's also something that I wouldn't wear pattern fabric wise. As you can see, it's very in your face. Luckily, because it's a crop top, there's not that much of it, so it's not that bad. But I've just never worn it. I've had it probably for, I'd say three years. It's from Primark. It is a size 18. Um, the one thing I did notice when I tried it on it, it doesn't cover the chest area properly, so I would have to wear a vest top underneath it. Um, I wouldn't say it's dressy, you might be able to dress it up, but to me it's more casual, the fabric is a sort of very crinkly crease material, which is another uh, reason why I probably wouldn't like to wear it, and it's three quarter length sleeves. Um, I think it could look nice on holiday, it could definitely look nice, or a warmer day in the UK. Um, so let's see what I do with this one. Next outfit. So 
I have paired this with a, I'll try and get it in shot, a black midi skirt and some white, oh, they fall over, some white platform trainers. Trainers are from Dykeman Shoes, I think. No longer in stock because these ones have started to break and I wanted to buy a new pair. Um, black skirt, I have no idea where it's from. It's got no tags in it. Could be from like a Spanish market or something. It is very see-through, as you can tell. Um, so you have to wear something underneath. Obviously, a black vest as always, and then the top on top. Sizing wise, it is an 18. It's quite big actually around here. I, I can't really tie it anymore that way, but it is tighter on the arms. Um, once again, sizing, I must have a really weird body. Um, so yeah, I don't mind it. I don't think it's fabulous. I don't think it'd be the first thing I'd reach for in the wardrobe, clearly, as I've had it for three years. But at least this has shown me that I can style it differently. Um, but I do feel like a Blackpool stick of rock. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, with my hair down, it kind of takes away the effect, but it just gets worse the, the more things you take away from it. I'm just not a big fan of stripes. Luckily, they're the ones that go down, so they're a bit more slimming, supposedly, and don't go across. But yeah, not the best outfit. Obviously, prefer my last outfit, but that is within my comfort zone. So, what can you do? All right, next outfit I'm going to try will be this. Talk about sticker rock. What about big red and white nutty thing? Um, I would probably wear this, so I've never worn this. This is from Shane. I think it was a two or a three X. I don't think there's any. Oh, there is. It's just telling me that it's main material polyester fibre. Nice. Um, I think it's a two or a three X. It is very see through so far. I don't know whether you know through two layers it's see through or through the camera it's see through. Comes with a cute little tie. I don't really know why I bought this. Um, it's midi length, so one of my favourite lengths, if you can have favourite lengths. I thought it was a bit daring. It's a wrap, fake wrap dress, so something that I do enjoy. So maybe just with the midi and the wrap dress, I thought, eh, I can pull off the pattern. Uh, but I've never ever wanted to try and pull off the pattern. I'd probably wear this thinking midi dress. It's not very casual, you know, you. I mean, you could pair some, some shoes with it. Even these bad boys could go with it. Um, just a plain white shoe. I do have a full plain white trainer downstairs. These got a little bit of a pattern on it. Um, but I'd probably wear this more casual, uh, more mid casual to fancy. So I'd probably put a, a, a little wedge with it. Um, but let's see how it looks, shall we? Can you see why I've never worn this? So. <laughs> Okay, this is more like a disastrous purchases. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know why I buy these things. I think because they're online, they look nice on the model. I'm not the model. Um, worst things, these sexy shoulders. They really broaden me. Can't say the dots do much either. Um, feel like I'd fit in at a Spanish flamenco dance, you know. So to make it, try and make it a little bit better, I've paired them with these black, I don't know if you can see that, um, black wedge espadrille style things. I don't have any white heels so we're just going to have to stick with black for now. I just... <laughs> it looks horrific. I don't know, I love the concept, I don't like them. <laughs> and the sleeves I've rolled up, I always do that by accident. So even worse. There's, there's no words. I, I don't know how else you can you can try and break it up maybe with a jacket on top, but it'd be too hot. It is quite a warm dress. I just I could go in like a Where's Wally book, couldn't I? But I don't know. There's something. I love the, the skirt. Oh, I could make it into a skirt. I hadn't thought of that. Love it as a skirt. I'm making this into a skirt. Problem solved. Next. Okay. So, next is this, I think, I mm, don't really know what, what it is, it's from Next, it's from the Next tailoring, it's in a size 18, and it, it was originally £55, but I got it in a sale somewhere, 
sure there's a sales figure. £22, half price supposedly, that's not half of 55 but we'll go with it. Um, and it's this, it's midi length again, it's like a, like a jungle theme I guess, very lightweight, got little cap sleeves, not cap sleeves, little sleeves to your elbows, comes in at the waist. Now my problem is, probably the reason why I've not worn this, my skinniest bit is higher than most. I don't know whether it's I've got a short this or a really long this bit, probably a really long this bit. So my waist up here, so most things that have a waist on them come to here, and that's not a skin, the skinniest part of me. So this definitely does the same thing. I don't know if you can tell, it comes to like here, my waist is there. Um, but I really like this, I love the print, and I thought it could be something that I could wear at some point. I could jazz it up. This probably would be would be a date night outfit, maybe. Um, let's see how I style it up, and we'll go from there. So this is this outfit. So like I said, because of the waist situation on me, I don't want to do it up. So if I did it up, you know, the waist is there, but my skinniest bit's up here, so I could do that, and then obviously. See, see how much further that goes around. I just think it's too much on my body. However, thinking about it, I think I might chop this bit off and hem this down and wear it as like a little kimono jacket. What do you think? Either way, I've paired it with like a black, you can see, it's got lace on it, just like a black peplum top, black jeans, which I have not worn for months, not one jeans for months. So putting these bad back on, that was that was a feat. Hence why the but they fit, so I am happy. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how long it is on me. So I've put it with a pair of my chunky heels, a little peep toe, a little toe, a toe bar. It's definitely not a toe bar. My shoes, a tea bar. Obviously, you just want to be like going clubbing or to the Ritz. It probably just going to like a nice meal, like a local cosy pub, maybe not with the heels. I think it's a mix. It's a mix. We'll go with the mix. But yeah, I really like this. Top, no idea where it's from. It's probably it's probably like a online, maybe boohoo. From with it, the straps are massive, so I've tied the back. Jeans are from Tesco. These are the comfiest jeans I've ever had. They are so stretchy. I mean, I don't know whether you can see but they're so stretchy um and then shoes are from simply b i think so yeah that is my date night outfit that is the only effort i'm putting in with my boyfriend <laughs> so next item last item i'm really going into pattern today aren't i so these are a pair of linen floral trousers wide leg trousers from mns they don't have a size on them, but I think they were either an 18 or a 20. Um, never ever worn these before. Like I said, well actually I haven't said this yet. I, I am not a big fan of baggy trousers because I like a baggy top because of my belly. I don't like anything fitted up here. I feel like fitted, flared and flared or like baggy and baggy just doesn't work very well. Um, so it's more often than not that I will not wear floppy baggy trouser these were obviously for holiday not been on holiday yet i did buy them probably two years ago um but i've just never taken them on holiday with me i've just found them on under a pile in the back of my wardrobe which is why they're probably really creasy hoping you can't see how creased they are so i'm going to try and style these holiday style um let's give it a go okay so this is the final look and my holiday look I actually really like these. I've not worn them before. I would put them on with a pair of sandals, but I can't find the sandals anywhere. So I'll try and walk back. They're actually, they're a bit long on me. I'm a bit short. They've got really nice pockets as well. So I put this actually with a black top. This is also new. Well, not new. I've just never worn it. I bought it about two years ago. This is from Boohoo. It's actually really cute. I don't know why I've never worn this. Um, it's got that sort of neckline. So I'd have to do something with the straps. And I just put like a little linen-y jacket over the top. Obviously you don't have to. But I actually really quite like this. 
would be better if the top was in grey, I'm not gonna lie, just because grey on here, or if I had like a, if this was in like a coral or grey, perfect, but it's not, so we'll just pretend that the, it doesn't actually look too bad without, I've got mirrors everywhere, it doesn't look too bad without, um, with the black, but yeah, like I said, it just goes with like a little jacket, if not, that's the top, there's no sleeves, but it's really cute, I, love, I actually like the top more than like the trousers, I do think the trousers work, and because this top's fitted on top, and then flares out, you can change this thing, so I've actually pulled it in to make it more flary, which I think you're meant to do, could be wrong, I actually think it works, and obviously got my black vest top underneath, only because it's quite short at the back, so yeah, I really quite like that, so with, I think you could wear it obviously with heels, or with flats, knowing me on holiday I'd probably just wear it with flat sandals, um, would need to take them up because I am short, but I'm thinking that it's not a bad outfit, Maybe if I wear it, I'll summon the gods to stop this whole coronavirus thing and let me go on holiday. Not that that's the main thing to be concerned about, obviously. But I think that's really nice. Yes, out the outfits, I really like this one. I did like my date night outfit, that was actually quite nice. Um, and obviously, any dress with tights and a little cardigan works for me. Actually, instead of that jacket, right. me in grey, could do a grey cardigan, eh? To go with the grey on the trousers, maybe, maybe. Kind of works. I don't know, I love a cardigan. You, you can see, or even, you know, wear a cardigan like it's supposed to be worn, rather than trying to be all fancy and wear it on your shoulders. Oh, I really like that. I don't think it's shown up on camera as nice in person, or am I just lying to myself? That is a winner. Yeah, I really like that. So definitely this outfit, my date night outfit was really good once I've altered the, the uh, top. Didn't like this, really. And <laughs> unless I'm going to a Spanish flamenco dance, I don't like that either. Right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas on how to style things. I'm not a stylist. I do like clothes, but I can't say that I'm on top of the style game, being plus size, you don't get, well you, obviously you do get some stuff that like mainstream sizes wear, but I just don't think it suits me, like bodycon, or oh, that'd be like my worst nightmare, um, and all those sorts of things, so I feel like sometimes you do struggle to get nice outfits, or you have to put a lot of effort in to style them, probably why I go for skater dresses and tights, because I know that they suit me, they fit me, and that's that. But this is actually showing me that I could wear a few different things, which is great. Um, please give the video a like and a subscribe if you can. I'm only just starting out, but I'm hoping to do loads more hauls of actual shops, not just my wardrobe. I've got an ASOS haul coming. I've got a Shane um, haul coming. I'm looking at even like the supermarkets. But obviously with quarantine, I'm trying to minimise what I'm ordering. Um, I've also got some makeup and hair videos. I'm not claiming to be good at that either, but it's just what suits me. And I might just do a few other little bits of DIY, like with the clothing and all the sort of stuff that I do on a day-to-day, week-to-week, let's say year-to-year -year basis with the sewing. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. hope you have a lovely weekend and I hope you're staying safe.